Welcome back to another video of Get Funky, and today this is the tutorial on how to install your SSD. So now, step one, you must flip the PS5 and take off the plate. So you can see right here, these two plates, these two white ones, and you want you to put pressure on both sides, and then oh, what is that? <coughs> And might as well just wipe it down with some wipes and you also want to wipe it down with some tissue as well but um, yes if your thing is dirty then you must do that and you also need to get a tool set to take off that lid right there so step two get a tool kit and unscrew that mini cover as you can see right here choose which screw tip that you have to use to get rid of that just to take off the lid basically Okay, just get your screwdriver, which I'm trying to do right now, and um, yeah, there we go. Just put the tip on top of your screwdriver. This is my Pacific one, so you're just going to use that, and, well, twist it, twist it, twist it. Just twist it out, right out of the lid, those screwdrivers, because you're going to need to use it later. Now it should be able to just pop right off with your tip of your finger, and... There we go, just pops right out, and that's also very dirty, just to get that out of the way. But, um, yep, there we go. Now you have the open slot to put in your SSD. We're using WD Black SSD heatsink. So, I don't know is it what happens without the heatsink, but this is our one, WD Black heatsink, and um, we're going to be showing you how to install this one, not the, the ones without. As you can see right here, this is just some leftover instructions that we don't not need. I mean, we, we do not need. So let's just, um, uh, uh <coughs> yeah, my, my throat. But anyways, yep, yeah, some leftover instructions, really. Nothing that much, some random numbers. And it even opens to even much, much more instructions for absolutely no reason. What, what, what is this? Okay, so, yep, yeah, just um, get that out of the way. And um, we have some leftover more weird stuff. I mean, what is this? What does it have to do with the actual internal hard drive? I mean, what is this? Okay, just some leftover things. And um, yes, I think it's time to actually install the SSD now. Now here it comes a bit tricky. You're gonna want to install the SSD inside but not completely first. So as you can see right here, it's not right. You gotta get the spacer and the screw. So step three, insert the SSD and remove the screw. After removing the screw, remove the spacer as well and use both to screw on the SSD. So let's um, remove the screw right here on number 110, I think, but the, <coughs> yeah. So now you want to put in the screw and make sure you get that spacer. Lots of people have forgotten to get that, so make sure you get the spacer. So install the spacer right there. It should just pop right in. Let's just see. There, there, there we go. And now you want to install the screw as well. But just remember the spacer, okay? The spacer, the spacer, and the screw. So... Just put the screw and the spacer and to um just to screw it on and it's pretty straightforward after this. Just there we go. Now it's on, just tighten it up, up a bit more. And um yeah, I think that's already it. That's already how to install the WD Black SSD. 
Now you'd like to put on the lid for final step, step four. Screw back on that lid and use the screw that we unscrew um, before the, the video and um, I mean, yeah, the video. So um, next, so there we go, it's now in. And now you have to put on the plates. You can see the pins on the plate. Let's just see first. Um, yeah, as you can see right those, you have to make sure they slot right in to the holes on the console itself. So, yep, slide it right in. And just a nurse sway moment. And there we go. That's how you install the WD Black SSD or any SSDs with heat sink. And um, yes, there we go. And um, make sure you get a screw. The only thing that you'll need is your SSD and your toolkit for electrical items. But other than that, you're already set to go with this video right here. So, um, yes, there we go. That's how you install your SSD with heatsink into your PS5. And the last little thing you have to do is just format it. But anyways, yeah, there you go. Bye, Scram.